Alright, in this video we're going to go over the disassembly of the TriStar Viper G2 shotgun. As in handling firearms, first thing we do is check the first unloaded, retract the operating handle, go look in the chamber, look in the magazine, see that the weapon's empty, and we can begin disassembling it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the magazine cap from the front of the forearm here. Go ahead and take that off, set it aside. Now we're going to just grab the forearm and you can just slide it entirely off the end of the magazine. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the barrel assembly here from the receiver in the magazine tube. To do that, you actually need to have the action closed. You can't take it off while it's open because the thicker diameter of the barrel here closer to the receiver will actually bind on the action rails. So what you're going to do is you're going to retract on the charging handle here, depress the bolt release with the other hand, slowly let the uh, charging handle on the bolt move forward. You can push the bolt forward and you'll see that the barrel actually start to push out, grasp the barrel, and firmly slide it off the front of the wet. Now you're going to want to clean on the inside of the barrel, um, use a bore snake, whatever it is used to clean down the barrel, just a couple quick brushes will be fine. You can see that the piston sleeve has actually come off on the weapon here, sometimes it will retain itself on the magazine tube. You'll see that it has a little split o-ring here on the front, that will act as the gas seal for the weapon, just make sure that the o-ring uh, has a little bit of give to it so they can expand. Um, you may want to wipe this off with a uh, Kleenex or a towel or rag, whatever it is you're using, uh, it's not a big deal, you're not going to be able to take off this discoloration here from the, the rounds farm. Um, one thing that I like to do, you know, and this depends on, on you know your personal preferences, you can see that this is a fairly general black area all the way around except for right here. You can see that there's two little circular shapes here. What those are is that's because that weapon's been fired with those little shapes lined up with the two gas ports there on the inside of the magazine. You can see those two holes cut there right about on the other side where my thumb is pointing. Those are the gas ports where the gas is coming down the barrel actually operate the semi-automatic action of a shotgun. Um, just personally, I like to line up the two holes in different places as you go around, so the next time I'm not going to put those two holes lined up uh, in the same spot, that's going to be you know, a very slight difference, uh, mostly cosmetic, but I like to spread out the wear and tear um, as much as possible, help extend the life of all the parts. Now, the last thing you're going to do is you're going. The next thing you're going to do is remove the bolt, charging handle, action bars, and action bar sleeve from the receiver and magazine extension. To do that, we're going to have to remove the charging handle. The charging handle is the only little piece keeping the bolt from flying out the front, and these pieces flying off due to the spring of the magazine. Uh, spring here outside the magazine tube. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grasp the action bar sleeve up here, compress slightly. What that's going to do is that's going to get the charging handle off this front face of the uh, ejection port cut into the receiver. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move the, the bolt here. You can see that the cut is lined up around the charging handle and you want to center the charging handle in that cut. The reason is if you look at the top here, there's a little hemispherical cut on the top part of that uh, bolt re recess. Um, that lines up with the charging handle, which has a profile that will fit out that. So go ahead and compress a little bit. Again, move the uh, bolt so it's about midway between the charging handle, and you'll be able to pull the charging handle straight out. And go ahead and slowly release. And you can see, like I said, there was that hemispherical cut there where the bolt slides along, and you can line it up, and the charging handle has a not perfectly flat profile. Go ahead and set all these pieces aside. Very slowly let the magazine spring push everything out and remove that assembly off the rest of the weapon. What we have here is the bolt, which you can simply lift off the action bar. The action bar itself, which can be lifted off and rotated from the action bar sleeve. Um, the sleeve you're not going to have to do too much cleaning for. This is going to be running on the outside of the action and the um, gas piston is going to be inside. So this is going to be pretty clean. Just wipe up a little bit here. Um, you may want to put some lube or dry graphite, um, whatever it is you're using for uh, an a action lubricant on this part, um, especially where it's going to be running along the rails. The action bar here, same thing. Not too much cleaning to be done here. I'll maybe just put some, some lube, especially you can see the uh, high friction points here where the finish is starting to wear away down to the silver metal color. Um, again, go ahead and clean that up and lube it if you'd like. The bolt. Here you're not going to want to try and mess with the firing pin channel. You can just see here and check for a proper firing pin protrusion. Make sure that the uh, ex uh, extractor here has you know enough of a bite, enough spring tension there. Just wipe up, especially on the bolt face here. You may want to lube on the outside when you put it back into the receiver. Otherwise there shouldn't be too much cleaning you need to do with that. This piece here will retain itself. That's for locking the bolt. The last thing you may want to do, go ahead and slide the, the magazine spring off there, 
the, the larger last thing you may want to do is remove the trigger guard assembly from the receiver. This entire assembly is hinged here at the back towards the bottom of the stock and pinned by this little pin here. I conveniently have a screwdriver and hammer to take out those parts. You can use a punch. I seem to have misplaced my set at the moment. Go ahead and line up the part here. Just give her a nice quick gentle get her started. Remove the cross pin here. It may be slightly tight. Use your punch, remove the cross pin, set that aside, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to depress the bolt release here because that's going to bind on the elevator, and then once you push that down, you'll be able to rotate this entire trigger guard assembly down. You may have to lift forward because it pivots, like I said, at the back of the stock here. For the trigger assembly, there shouldn't be too much you need to clean here. There may be very little gunpowder kickback on the top of the hammer here. Don't mess with the trigger assembly in case you're exceedingly confident what you're doing or you're an authorized repair individual because it will void your warranty and you may end up making your gun unsafe. <clears throat> now you have access to the receiver. It's going to be much easier with the trigger guard out of the way. This is where you're going to have most of the cleaning to do. You're going to want to clean up on the inside of the receiver back here where the bolt's going to recess. Make sure that's not dragging, giving you any extra friction. Um, the most important thing I find in my shotgun cleaning is, is the bolt is dragging within the receiver. Um, this little piece here is held in by that pin. There's no need to remove that for the bolt release. And that is the disassembly of the TriStar Viper G2 shotgun.